All right, uh, Shalom. All right, uh, brothers coming back to you with another little live stream. It's gonna be a, a open forum, you know, from Atlanta in the house again, you know. And you know, we just gonna, you know, go, go through the spirit, man. You know, but first off, we want to start by saying Brakata Yahweh. Brakata Yahweh. Brakata Yahweh. Brakata Yahweh. Brakata Yahweh. Brakata Yahweh. I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Mekha, Fodash. I'm going to give double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation and blessings so that I can push this word in truth and sincerity. By Yahweh, the house of David, the elect. Like I said before, it's just, you know, open forum. Pull whatever scriptures they got. You know, we're going to speak about the government shutdown. The brother said about the economic collapse. You know, your brother got it. Come on. Yeah, man, because that the economic collapse is, is, is right. It's right there, man. You know, uh, just, you know, catching catch wind of all this stuff. You know, the cryptocurrency game, you know, dwindling um, the, the, uh, the Senate. Just just came out with um, they're talking about they figured out a so they so called figured out a funding until February eighth for the government and and they said uh, I saw I read another article today it said uh, that the the stock market is at all time high now you know since they they figured out that you know how to you know get this uh, government back up and running man which is all fake and facade man uh -huh. you know they pull these they pull these antics Esau ain't Esau, you ain't slick no more. Mm -hmm. You pull these antics, you know what I'm saying? These little false flags, these false shutdowns, and what it was uh, to deter the people's mind from what's really going on. Because uh -huh. everybody's worried about this government shutdown when they, it, it, there's still war overseas right now. Uh -huh. They probably coming out with legislation to, to put you down, but they got you focusing on one thing. In all actuality, man, the government's still going to shut down in the in the economic everything's going to collapse anyway huh. you know what i'm saying huh. if you want to pull out uh yeah you can get that ecclesiastes 12 and 4. all right con this is ecclesiastes chapter 12 <clears throat> verse 4 and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low that's right it says the doors of the uh of the what the streets should be shut con that's right. In the in the in the uh, grinding so below, that you know we uh, that grinding, you know how Jake say in the world, man. Yeah, I'm grinding, man. Mm -hmm. Meaning, I'm, I'm putting in this work. Uh -huh. That's what the scriptures are saying, man. That grinding is gonna be low. They go uh, unemployment is gonna be up at an all time high. Goddamn, ninety nine percent unemployment uh -huh. because the only ones really gonna be working are the elite. Uh -huh. Okay, and then uh. Uh, what says the doors of the street? We yep. read that. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 4. And the doors shall be shut in the streets. That's right. The doors shall be shut in the streets, man. That's representation of that martial law, man. Come on. You know, where you, where, where you got the Ezra's? Well, matter of fact, I'll hold, I'll hold that. But in that second Ezra's, I think the 15th and the 16th chapter it speaks on how you won't be able to go from uh, one city to the next, man. Uh -huh. The doors of the street gonna be shut off. Yep. You know, you keep reading. When the sound of the grinding is low, yep. and he shall raise up at the voice of the bird, mm -hmm. and all the daughters. Oh, so like, it says when the when the grinding shall be low, so the work. And he says, and when he shall raise up, what is that? The voice of the bird. Uh -huh. You know, don't we sing a new song? Mm -hmm. I was watching a, um, a, a Apostle Gabar's video today, man. He says. And the times we're in now, you better best believe the prophets are back. Yep. And we're singing that song, man. So we we know we are a representation of that bird rising up, man. Because, you know, you got a songbird. Mm -hmm. And we're singing a new song right now that most people can't understand. So go ahead. And all the daughters of the music shall be brought low. Yeah, but that's the point at hand with, uh, with the grinding ceasing low. But, you know, that last part, I mean, like the, how the music is now, man, it's shitty. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Y'all brothers got it. Yeah, because yeah, if I can go into this word, word. 
the word grinding. The word um, grinding. Um, um, that's 12 and 4. The Hebrew for it is, uh, let me see. Page 49 and 12. Sachem. Sachem. Crush. Right. You go down to the strong definitions. It's a grind meal. All right. Uh, being their employment. All right. So, and then a meal. So, you know, they had like a corn meal. You know, place like a fat right that's the indication right that's the indication a job like the brother going into and i got a quick scripture real quick come just to go with y'all this uh isaiah chapter 19 verse um verse 14 it says the, the most high have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof so mingle that perverse spirit in the midst of, of this wicked city, man, in the midst of Babylon, in the midst of these Edomites, man. Two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. It says, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof. Right, Egypt. America is what referred to as spiritual Sodom and Egypt, man. They carry on all the customs and the, the traditions, man. Ancient additions did, man. All right, they seances, they sorcery, they left hand wickedness, man. All right, they idolatry. It says, um, of Egypt to air in every work thereof, right? So that's why the government shut down, man. Because the most I mean with that spirit, the shit that Esau set up, it ain't, it, it's gonna be a, uh, it, it's, it's gonna be complete vanity, man. Uh -huh. All right, that's why I uh -huh. said they gonna air in every work thereof. It says, as a drunken man, staggereth in his own vomit okay 16 neither shall there be any work for egypt which the head or tail they do so it ain't gonna be no work for this place man in the coming you know months and, and, and weeks ahead man all right or year or or however long it may be man it's not gonna be no work for this place it said that the head nor tail may do that's talking about from the rich to the poor man uh -huh. uh, man Right. And that's why the scripture said that uh, they 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 shall seek their children shall seek the uh, I mean they shall seek to please the children of the poor. Roughly paraphrasing in the book of Job, they gonna be you know trying to you know uh, you know do charitable things you know. Yeah. Just say he that hide for transgression with uh, love. Uh, roughly paraphrasing, but I gotta get that. Go ahead, y'all got it. I Come on, you. You you're right, brother man. You know the uh what was that um uh, uh Satan against Satan? You know what I'm saying? God. You know what I'm saying? So so yeah, he did mingle a, a perverse spirit in this place, man, to where there's not gonna be no more work. Because ultimately it <laughs> is the left hand going against the left hand. God. You know, they're deba they're they're debating amongst an, uh, one another, they're just as divided. Um, as as uh, the so called Negroes in the hoods, man. Right. Uh, right. You know? I, um, he said, I said yesterday on camp, you know, who created the nigger? Right. Yeah, that's right. Who's the original nigger? Right. Right. Yes. right. You know, like in the household, you got the head, you got your woman. Your woman is a representation of your head. That's right. Representation. It's like, mm -hmm. so he saw ruling over us right now. Mm -hmm. You know, he's that head. He's that king. Mm -hmm. So if he's trying to get his own people, what are we going to do? Come. Come. See, uh, I got a precept to the from God. Uh, he beautifully brought out that Isaiah 19. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 28, verse 18. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be sitting. That's right. And that's what we're trying to do. Walk uprightly. We're trying to this is the point. But he that is perverse and perverse shall fall. At once, uh, you know, and, and did not Isaiah 19 say, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. so it, it clearly says one that is perverse in his ways shall fall. So his his economy, and we're speaking about Esau, man. We ain't speaking to you beyond Edomites, man. Yeah, nah, nah, we're speaking nah. to the elite of Esau. 
since you were perverse in your ways, you're gonna have a heavy fall. Okay. Your, your, your money's gonna fall, your kingdom's gonna fall, your people's gonna fall, everything you got is gonna fall. Okay. It's gonna hit the ground. Y'all brothers got it? Yeah, yeah. Hey, if I can say this too, man, because you know how we be, you know, we on the highways and byways and people come up asking us questions and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, and we, we read out of scripture to answer that question, you know, but everybody got a problem with it. But, you know, I've been sitting here watching the CNN and all these senators like Mitch McConnell's and, uh, you know, the Republican uh, leader, majority leader and uh, Chuck Schumer, the Democrat. And it's like they, they all, all the people in the White House, they read off a fucking script, man. Yeah, that's right. 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 Hey, you know, like when they had a White House briefings, when the uh the the, the, the Edomite woman speaks, uh, I forget her name. Oh, cockeye, uh, bitch. Uh, oh, yeah. Speaker, right? Speaker, right? Huh? The secretary, yeah. you know. Yeah, I know you. I know you. I know you. But yeah, yeah, man. That's uh, black. Like, yeah. Uh, man, just threw myself off, man. You know. Um. Uh, yeah, when they speak, man. You know, they, they speak off of a script, man. You know, nobody asks them, you know, no, don't read off of the script. I want to know how you feel. And they give a response to a, to anything that happens. They clearly reading off a, a, tele, a teleprompter, all right, mm -hmm. or, or a piece of paper, man. But nobody ain't got a problem with them, though, man. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. But when we, when we come at our script, it's, it's yeah. confrontation, tension. Uh -huh. You know? Because, like, like, oh, go ahead, bro. No, you, you got it, brother. It's lucky. Now, what I was going to say, and all this you know, is going on with the government shutdown and the economic collapse is. Only, uh, you know, the way the elites are prepping to, uh, you know, push this microchip. That's right. All right. So all this that's going on going to eventually lead to that RFID microchip, which is uh, the mark of the beast uh, spoke of in Revelations. That's right. That's so, right. so, so, yeah, Esau know what he's doing. Everything, you know, with this devil is strategic and, and planned out. So, so it's not a coincidence. Uh, that, that these things are happening, okay? It's all part of prophecy. John, speaking of prophecy, um, this is Matthew 24. I'm gonna start at verse five. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's that's going on today right now, to speak. Like the brother said earlier, you know, it's a war going on right now. Right. So that's a prophecy fulfilling itself. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes, and diverse places. That's right. Yeah. It's so, that, it's that uh, uh, nation against nation, man. Uh -huh. Look that up. That's, uh, uh, that word nation in the Greek is ethnos. Uh -huh. That's where we get the word ethnicity. So it's going to be race rights. Uh -huh. yeah, kingdom against kingdom. You're, you're Russia mm -hmm. versus America. Uh -huh. Which, again, you know, Satan against Satan. Because they're both Edomites. Probably Russia is just a different duke. Uh -huh. uh, you know, a different duke of Edom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So uh, keep going on. Uh -huh. All these are the beginning of sorrows. That's right. Then, um, it's like, if then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. That's and you right. shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. That's right. Uh, you know, and um, this is your Howard Shai speaking, man. God. And you know, uh, you, you you can tell obviously that he read the book of Ezra. You know, because uh, when, when he says uh this is the beginning of sorrows, it's the same thing the book of Ezra in the 16th chapter says, the beginning of sorrows. Mm -hmm. He 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 understood this because what he had a precept. <laughs> and the book of Ezra. Uh, come, come. That, that, that's why when you read in the Gospels, he was talking to the Pharisees and the scribes. He says, have you not read? Uh, he would say that to him. Have you not read? Because obviously he's read it, man. Mm -hmm. in, in its entirety, he ate the whole roll, man. So now he understands. Well, he always understands, but now we understand mm -hmm. of where he's coming from. Uh, we understand that these, these woes are, are going to come to pass, man. We understand that this economic collapse 
is is not mm-hmm. like I'm talking about could happen in the next week type stuff. Right. right? Come Lord, on. Lord willing, I'm gonna this up. Come on. You know what I'm saying? This, uh, the, can I get a quick precept before you finish that? Come on. Because I'm gonna uh, land back on what I just said. This is Second Ezra chapter uh, 16, verse 18. Uh, 17. He said, what was me? What was me? Who would deliver me in those days? That goes to show you that uh, Ezra's understood reincarnation too, man. He knew he'd be back. Uh-huh. That's when uh, you read the book of Job. Job was uh, saying the same thing, that he shall see, uh, even though worms uh, eat eat this, paraphrasing, worms eat this flesh, I will see my re- redeemer in that day. Mm-hmm. He knew he would be back. Job is here right now. Ezra's is here right now. Probably on the highways and byways condemning this place. Right but now. it goes on to say, verse 18, it says, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? And that's the same thing that was shy was saying, man. He said, this is the beginning of sorrows, the wars, the rumors of wars, the God. pestilence, the famine, the diseases, the earthquakes. This is the beginning of those woes, the beginning of those sorrows, man. You can keep going. Just it, and just to, you know, build on top of that, you know, we just had the um, government shutdown or whatever. I mean, you have these Americans looking at a football game, That's right? True. Partying, drinking, right? And it's gonna hit hard because um, what the Apostle Tar said, this, this this is gonna be the year of prophecies. That's true. Uh, and as we can all oh, see, oh. what do you say? Uh, yeah, if I can say this, it's a lot. Of, and, uh, that's why. That's why. That's why. Thirty eight chapter. They said what? That they was gonna come up to the to the land of unwalled villages, man. <laughs> you know, without without care, man. You know, cause these people don't got a care in the world, man. That's why the scripture said he the the most I said he he's what he's uh with the heathen man that are at ease man I mean they comfortable that's right. on their leaves man they ain't worried about hey the government shut down oh, yeah they'll get it back up you know mm-hmm. these proud even mice down you know nothing man the curses ain't on them yet right uh-huh. now mm-hmm. y'all got it. That's right. You know, and to, to back off what the brothers are saying, uh, back up what the brothers are saying too, man. Um, you know, he's going to catch these. That's why he says, um, I come as a thief in the night. Uh-huh. And that's why we read First Thessalonians in the fifth chapter. It tells us to be sober. It uh-huh. tells us to be vigilant. tells us to be aware. Uh-huh. It tells us that we're the children of the light, man. Uh-huh. We have that candle in that dark, in that dark area. You know, we can see what's coming. We're sitting at the door, you know, <laughs> for just an example, man. Not saying that we're going to fight, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But we're sitting at the door watching for that robber to come with the shotgun in hand. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Just as an analogy. Just an mm-hmm. analogy. You know what I'm saying? Not, right. not carnal, any, but in a spiritual sense, we're, we're sitting at the window watching and looking out, man, so we don't get caught off guard. Uh, that's, that's right, you're right. The scriptures say what, man? That if that man would have watched, then he wouldn't have suffered for his house to be broken up, man. You know? That's right. And that's why the, that's why the scriptures also say in pe- uh, peace and safety, then sudden destruction. Huh. They caught off guard, man. Yeah, this economic collapse is going to catch people like the brother saying, man. This government shut down and motherfuckers want to go to a a, a football game, man. Yeah. Fucking okay, party and shit. And par- party and bullshit. What is that, Biggie song? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they want to party and bullshit. Kind of. And, uh, oh, but uh, they're, they're just saying, uh, they'll get the government back up. It's all right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's uh, Man, there's a scripture mm-hmm. Paul's where he says that he thinks his, uh, uh, is speaking about Esau, he thinks his, uh, in, you know, shall continue for, um, shall continue for us. Continue for if y'all want to get that, you got it, thumb guys. Oh, you want me to uh, finish this right quick? I'm 49 and 11, mm-hmm. but yeah, uh, like you know, bro was saying, that's why that's why two thirds gonna get caught out there. Man. They 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 secure, 
You know, yep. they got that security blanket. They can fall back on Esau. Yep. Government assistance, you know, uh, things like welfare. Subsidized yep. housing, man. You know, uh, uh, um, um, Social Security. Yep. W-2s and shit. All that shit come from Esau, man. I got a quick precept. All right? So that's why Jake, they, they don't have a care in the world. Connor, got a quick precept for you. Slop. Slop. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is uh, uh, Isaiah 13 and 15. Everyone is, that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall mm -hmm. by the sword. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Everyone that's found shall be thrust through, man. Uh, All right, and everyone that is, is hey, everyone that's joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Hey, you know the ones that's gonna be found, man. This is not a part of the elect, man, because the Lord He gonna hide the elect in the in the day of Jacob's trouble, man. So uh, the ones that be found, they gonna be thrust through, search in the house. That's why in the book of Second Edward they going to that, man. Search the house. They some gonna get left back. Matter of fact, let me. Grab that real quick to go with that that what you just read. I right? that's talking about man when they be searching the house and stuff, man. With the uh, sword, man. All right. I got uh yeah, right. Um chapter 16, verse 31. It says, Even so, in those days be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword, man. Right. So read that scripture again. I, Con, this is uh Isaiah 13 and 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. And everyone, right, that, everyone is that is found, man. A a everyone that is found. When they come through searching the house with the sword, if you get found, man, you're gonna get thrust through. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they might shackle you up and take you take you with them, you know, like they showing them uh uh shows and shit like a uh, walking dead. Uh apocalyptic shows where they you know snatch up the women, man. Get you know, hey, you go get thrust through. Go ahead. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Yeah, everyone that is joined to them, unto who, man? Those Edomites, man. Huh. First and foremost, and all the other nations, man. The Israelites will have nothing to do with them. That's why the scripture said, communion have uh light with darkness, roughly paraphrasing, man. Huh. All right. We don't have nothing to do with them. We're not supposed to be in a military or none of that shit. Right. Y'all got it. Uh, you got a piece up? Uh, I, got, I, got, I got some if y'all yeah. don't real quick. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Yeah, I got no something too. Go ahead, up. Uh. All right. This uh this Isaiah chapter three, verse one, it said, For behold. The most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the most high host from Jerusalem and from Judah, the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water, man. Talking about the southern and the northern kingdom. Because when you go into that word stay, the, the Hebrew for it is Meshen, and it basically uh, goes into what? Right? Uh, 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 to lean on or trust in a protector. Mm -hmm. Of every kind, man. Ultimately, that goes back to who? The so called white man. Uh, Break down this economy, man. This 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 glorious kingdom, this beauty of the Chaldees, man. Tear this shit down, man. Yep. Trust, uh, man. That's why the Lord said, You're going to lament for the teach, man. Jake, because Jake used to having that breast in their mouth, man. The Lord going to shut down your precious government, man. Precious benefits, man. And then what you gonna do, right? Line up to get the RFID uh, microchip, which is the mark of the beast, like the brother was going into, man. Because uh -huh. Jake ain't got no uh -huh. damn integrity, man. That's right. You know? That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, uh, yeah, y'all y'all got it. Y'all got it. I got a precept for you, Art. I got a precept for you, uh, This is uh, mm. Isaiah 31 and 1. It says, Woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help. And stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not into the Holy One of Israel, which is Yahweh Shai, neither seek the Lord, man. Uh, 
So they don't they 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 trust in America because like we were saying, man, they content. You know, mm -hmm. they living it up here, man. The so-called white men to fatten uh, Israel, the, the two thirds of Israel up, man. Uh, and I got a precept to back that real quick, and I'm gonna let you get your precept. Uh, this is a uh, Psalm 20 and seven. It says, "Some trust in chariots, and some in horses, but we will remember the name of Yahweh Shmuel Al Shai, of power." That's right, uh, and that's why we on this this dream right now, man. pushing Yahweh Shmuel Al Shai, pushing his doctrine, because we don't trust in uh, we putting on, you know, we putting all our Eggs in the basket of Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai. Uh -huh. We're putting all our money into into uh, Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai stock market, man. Uh -huh. We're investing in that. Uh -huh. The word investment means uh, in investor uh, uh, means you know on your vet on your chest, man. So we put we put in everything you know that we got into Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai. It continues to say uh, verse eight: They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen up. And stand upright. It says, "Save, uh, save, Lord! Let the uh, let the King hear us when we call." That's right, man. Since we put everything into this and don't trust in the chariots, don't trust. And I'm speaking of the chariots of uh of uh, the carnal sense. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't trust the Esau system. We don't trust in America. And we put all our uh, marbles, uh, and all our our, our assets. We don't hold back from anything from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Since we do that, man, we're going to be uh, in turn saved, man. Huh. Like, we're, we're not uh, Ananias. Uh, we don't have the spirit of Ananias and his wife when you read the book of Acts, man. Huh. How they're supposed to sell everything and, and give everything up, man. You know? they they The most High killed them on the spot. Mm -hmm. No, we put in everything. You know what I'm saying? Because the spiritual, uh, the 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 uh, what's that? Um, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man. Right. Uh, you know. So that we putting all that in there, man. You got a priest out. You gonna say say something? Yeah, we, yeah. Well, you saying we we all in, man. It's it's all or nothing with this thing. All right. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, just to go back to what the brothers were saying, um, you know, we do this because we know, you know, we have the fear of the Lord, but uh, two thirds. And the heathens, you know, they don't know, uh, especially, you know, our people, which is Israel. Uh, uh, this is Isaiah uh, chapter one, verse two. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nursed and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth its owner, and the ass is master's crib, but Israel doth not know. <laughs> They, they keep going, huh? They don't yeah, because yep. that, hey, that's the Lord comparing compare you niggas that an ox and an ass got more sense than you niggas, man. That's you right. come, huh? Who the heavenly Father and the Creator is, man. Come that's on. the comparison that the, the Lord is giving for you niggas, man. No more sense than a donkey and an ass, man. A, a mule and an ass, man. Yep. And, and, and if know, I may say, the scripture say that do it not consider, man. Oh, As I was saying, and, and the ox and the ass are some of the uh, dumbest animals on the planet. All they know yeah, is they, they some of the most they 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 real stubborn, man. They real stubborn. Yeah. Um, just to finish this off, and they say, my people do not consider. That's right. You know, that's right. Yep. Yeah, you, you, keep you going. Uh, verse four: a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. Laden with the nickel. Yeah, laden. That word laden means great, man. Kind. man. All right. They just got it. They just, they just piling shit upon shit, man. That's right. <laughs> kind. And, uh, a seed of evildoers, children that are are corrupt. Corruptors. Corruptors. Yeah. Corruptors. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. That's why nobody don't want to be around niggas, man, because you're going to turn them out. <laughs> Uh, That's right. They they have forsaken <laughs> the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, and yeah. they are gone. And they are gone away backward. Keep going. From the sole of the foot even into the head, there is no soundness in it. There's no soundness, man. There's no soundness. Me, you niggas is, man. Ain't no soundness, man. Come. Huh. 
You mm -hmm. niggas don't have a proper doctrine, man. You wacky Christians. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the mm -hmm. word. Hey, like Apostle Tahar say, Jesus. <laughs> 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 you know, uh, uh, K Dog and all them niggas, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't have that soundness, man. DJ Love, bitch ass. DJ Love, love. yep. Mm -hmm, that's right. But, but wounds and bruises. Uh, 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 G G two twenty ministries up here. You know, the nigga, yeah. uh, uh, cousin Skeeter. <laughs> <laughs> y'all got it. You got it. Oh, uh, that was pretty much it on that. Uh, you got some, you got some, yeah, it said the whole head is sick, man. It said the whole head is sick, though. Because it ain't no healing, uh, Jake, man. Time. You can go heal them if they, if they die. Time. Yeah, yeah. That's all you have to say, huh? Yeah, y'all got it. All right, um, this is Second Corinthians. Four and three, but if our gospel be hid, it is hidden to them that are lost, and whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shahamashiyat, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. So, like you were saying before, man, these niggas will never get it because this gospel is, is you know, is blind. It's blind to those that are lost. And it's gonna stay like that. That's the most high doing that. That's right. Your niggas will never get it. Right. Yeah, like, that's good. like you were saying, niggas will still, you know, put they, you know, grind, put they all into their chariots, you know, in the corner way. Mm -hmm. And I never get it. Mm -hmm. And you can, um, you know, you can that's why. That's why Isaiah six and nine said, "Give them ears that they should not uh, hear." All right, eyes they should not see. Roughly paraphrasing. That's right. Yep. Come on, come on. You know, because mm -hmm. it's a spiritual I, thing. I'm right there if you want that scripture. What is that? Isaiah six and nine, right? Right there. Come. God, this is Isaiah chapter six, verse nine. <clears throat> it says, "Um, I start at eight. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send?'" And who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. And right, see hear ye indeed. Hear ye indeed. Because when, when we out there on the highways and byways, they, they hear us indeed, man. Yep. But they understand not. That's right. They, they know we're reading out of the Bible. But they'll come up with a question like, what, what Bible are you reading out of? Yeah, right, that's right, right, right. Surprised. Hey, but look, they'd be surprised when we say the King James right. Bible. They'd be looking like, what the fuck? You know <laughs> why? It's because it's because the interpretation that we have through the spirit of power, you about Shimei was shot, they never heard it broken down that way. That's why they'd be like, what Bible is that? <laughs> that's right. That's right. It says, um, but understand not. And see ye indeed. But perceive not. I'm gonna keep. You want yeah, to keep going? But perceive not. Yeah. You know, a lot of Jakes is visual learners. That's why brothers go into histories. They do videos. You know, different uh books, from museums and shit. It's, um, what you call it? Um, a paper trail, man. It's multiple documents that prove that we the uh, Israelites, man. That's right. All right. Go and search these things out. Google it. Type it in. Look it up, man. You know, I like the nigga Tony Sotomayo, like Apostle Gabar say, uh, look it up, nigga. Because yeah. <laughs> Jake, they see it, you know, but they don't understand it. That's right. You know? You got it? Uh, this is verse 10. It says, make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. Lest they see with their eye. Yeah, yeah, eye. they big headed. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they big headed. He said, make the heart of these people fat. They big headed, man. They high minded. Think they know something, man. That's right. Kind. And it says, um, and hear with their ears and understand with their heart 
and convert and be you. And that's that's it on that. Uh, I got some. You got some. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah twenty nine and ten. Mm -hmm. For the Lord have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. That's right. And have closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers and seers have he have he covered. That's right. You know that goes that that you can uh. Link that what's that with that uh Jeremiah 23 because it says it says what their prophets and your seers have you have you uh rulers have you covered uh -huh. that's being your TD fakes mm -hmm. your Creflo dollars mm -hmm. uh -huh. all them you know they ain't got the, the spirit ain't with them nope. you know what I'm saying and when it's speaking about spiritually closing your eyes and spiritually closing your ears you know? that's what it's, they don't have the spirit to understand that man and that's why that's why you know they do come up to the camps be like what book is that man because they they've never got the breakdown in this type of way man um let's see something in that corner of mind it hey that's the spirit though that's why the scripture now uh, say what man uh what wait what is that uh 26 and 10 i think what was be that? shown to the wicked man because right, two thirds of the nation of Israel is wicked anyway, man. Mm -hmm. Letting favor be shown to him, even though that scripture talk about Esau wicked ass, losing for Jake dumb ass too, man. Mm -hmm. All right, the Most I showing favor unto the wicked, man. Mm -hmm. Yet will he not learn righteousness, man? Matter of fact, let me get that scripture real quick, Bible Kusha Akim. Isaiah chapter twenty six. That let favor be sold to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness, right? Mm -hmm. And that's for two thirds, all right? Because favor is being shown to them, man, all right? By us going out on the highways and byways, abasing ourselves through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashem and our shot to lift these up, these decrepit, you no, know, in the corner ass niggas up, man. All right? The scripture said, let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. He still ain't gonna understand the lost that's commandment, and we breaking it down to in layman's terms, man. Uh, All right, because they wicked, man. It's some about uh the uh spirit would not enter into a, a malicious soul, man. That's right. In Israel, they fuck, they just malicious, man. Okay. Man. Okay. I got something real quick. Uh, this uh Ezekiel chapter two. Verse one, and he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. Mm -hmm. And the spirit entered into me when he spake unto See, me. And just what, uh, uh, yeah, just what you were saying, man. The spirit ain't gonna enter into a malicious soul, but it entered into a uh, Ezekiel right here. You know what I'm saying? Keep huh. going. And set me upon my feet. Mm -hmm. That I hear him that spake unto me. That's right. And he said unto me, the yeah. son of man. Hey, hey, I, hey, this man, hey, because we that's how you know the spirit entered into us too, man. Yeah, that's the right. brothers, y'all brothers, you know, uh starting with our apostles and elders, you know, the brothers that teach that like mind, teach that like-minded doctrine. The spirit entered in us too. That's how you know we're not malicious. Because the scripture saying what in the book of Revelation, 11 chapters. After three and a half days, the spirit of the Most High entered into them, man, and they stood upon their feet, man. And great fish fell upon them with Sodom, man. That was one of my favorite scriptures, man. I was just talking about. I That's beautiful. Hey, uh, one second, I'm gonna get this real quick. What does that say? This is um Psalms 51 and three. For I acknowledge my transgressions, mm -hmm. and my sin is ever before me. So, uh, uh what it says, uh, purge me with hyssop. Um, so what? Yeah, you're right, though. Our transgression and our sins is ever before us. That's the good scripture, man. God, man, yeah, truth, right. man. Uh, God, you know, because we know that we did shit. We constantly think about it. Out of our mind, man. Because right. the Lord can take us out for whatever we did before we came into the truth, man. We don't know whether we, you know, we, we committed a sin or to death, whatever the case may be, man. That's right. That's right. Before us. And that's the thing with Jake, man. They don't care about their sins, man. They just sin all willy-nilly, man. Yeah, that's right. 
That's why. That's why. What, nope. what is that in a, a Exodus twenty and five? He said, uh -huh. "I'll visit the iniquity of the uh, uh, what is that of the of the, the children by the fathers every third and, and fourth generation mm -hmm. uh, to them that hate me." Uh -huh. So, like we like we just read, man, it's they're laden with iniquity, yeah. uh -huh. sin on top of sin on top of sin, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're filthy. They're not trying to. And this is the reason I wanted to get this in Psalm 51, because uh, hold. Oh, matter fact, bring it out right quick. Just bring it out because uh, King David is speaking on purging himself, man. Yep. Uh -huh. And when you read down, I think to verse 11, he says, uh, "Hide out, uh, hide my transgressions, and blot out my iniquities." If I'm not mistaken. Uh -huh. Okay, I think that's verse nine. But go ahead. I'm gonna start out with um, verse five. This is Psalms 51, verse five. Behold, mm -hmm. I was shaped in iniquity, mm -hmm. and in sin did my mother conceive me. That's right. We're all born into sin, man. God. Okay. We're all born into it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't the scripture that's say right. our, our our righteousness is as filthy rags? Mm -hmm. So we we uh, we we dirty man. But the yeah. thing is, this flesh is dirty. But the thing is, we purging out our spirit. God. So we can present our ourselves uh, uh, as a clean, chaste virgin yep. to uh, to the to the uh, to the husband when he comes back, man. Mm -hmm. You know, go Behold, thy dearest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. That's right. He said in the inward parts, man, and that you can say you use lightweight speaking. On what what's gonna happen to us coming soon, man? Which uh -huh. is a prophecy, yeah. which is the the New Testament, our inward parts. Mm -hmm. All of it's gonna be written in our inward parts, man. We're gonna be perfect. Go ahead. God, purge me with hyssop. That's right, purge me with hyssop. And when you look that, when you look hyssop up, it's a certain plant, man. It's a purifying. It, it you can use it as a purifying agent. God. Okay. So he's like, pure me with hyssop, but it's metaphoric. Like clean my clean my spirit, man. Mm -hmm. Clean my soul. So I'm so I'm clean. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? That's why King David was a man after the most high, man. You keep going. God. And I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. The, and that the, and it said the word white means to be purified. Yeah, to be pure. And it says wash me. Uh -huh. It says clean me. Uh -huh. And what and that's what it, it, hey man, that's heavy, bro. And that goes back to the um mm -hmm. that water. That living um that's right, that, that living that water. water, man. Because what what is what is stagnant water? When water stagnant, it produces a lot of bacteria and it mm -hmm. becomes dirty. Uh -huh. But if you got that's why you know Esau be lying when it, when you get your water bottles yeah. be like from a fresh spring. Yeah. Because yeah. a spring is always continually moving. Yeah. Therefore, it's always purifying itself. Yeah. God. You know what I'm saying? That's why when you go to like a spring and you pick up a rock that's inside of that river or that you know that that fresh water, mm -hmm. you pick it up, it's smooth. Yeah. That rock is smooth. Because it's 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 just constant something's constantly moving over it, purify, purifying it, man. It's the same thing with uh King David was saying mm -hmm. when he said pure uh, purge me with hyssop. And that's what we should be doing now, especially going to the time of the Passover. Right, right, of course. And that's what it, it, and the brother Thumb Yard beautifully uh speaking on. These niggas ain't doing that now. Yeah. That's why Paul in, in, in uh, Acts 13 and 46, if I'm not mistaken. He says, man, since y'all want to be like this, paraphrasing, we're going to turn to the Gentiles, mm -hmm. to the confusions of faces, man. Yeah. Fuck y'all niggas, Come man. Because you don't want to purge yourself. You don't want to hear the words of the Lord, man. That's why it says in Romans 2, it says uh, they despise the uh, the riches of his goodness, man. Mm -hmm. His long suffering is forbearance, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, it, you know. And I'm going to just yeah, um, bring this out, you know, um, purifying or whatever. This is. At 11 and 16, then remember by the word of the Lord, how that he said, John indeed baptized with water, mm -hmm. but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. That's, That's right. right. And that just goes back to um That's right. That you know that, that that clean water. That's right. Cleaning you up, cleaning your mind up, being spiritually um born again, That's renewing right. your mind. Mm -hmm. And that Holy Ghost, man, the, the, the Holy word, Spirit. Yeah, kind of the Holy Spirit. You know, you being holy, you you being separated from the world. It's like he he picked you, and now you have to re renew your mind, regain, yep. to redo it again, retalk. Mm -hmm. Put up that old man. Uh, get, get Hebrews uh, five and uh, five and twelve. God. And you know that's beautiful. Reread that. God, this is Acts eleven and sixteen. And I remember I the word of the Lord, how that He said, John indeed 
baptized mm-hmm. with water. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. also, when you when you when you read the scriptures, it talks about the baptism or baptized. It also, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and correct me if I'm wrong, I can. It says bat, you know, uh, bat, it, it, it's uh, it compares it as with fire too, because fire is a purifying agent as well. How uh-huh. do you get rid of a virus? You burn that burn shit, it, man. Yeah. Just that's like why you got to do with Babylon. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. why it says in, in Zechariah 13, I will bring them through the furnace. Uh-huh. That's why when you read Ezra, it says the same thing that you're gonna get purified with that fire, man. And that's what this, and that's what the word, man. God. You know, like <laughs> these wacky tacky Christians, like how uh, mm-hmm. Apostle Gabar says it. These wacky tacky Christians, man, they they think uh, literally, you know, getting dipped in water <laughs> is is the way, man. No, nah, you you're supposed to baptize and purify your spirit, and so your inward part, my eye, your mind. Yep. That's when you. That's what's getting baptized. That's when. Uh, that's why Nicodemus really didn't understand yeah. how Rashad was speaking to him. You got to come back and be born again. You got that uh, Hebrews five and twelve. I'm gonna get this, and y'all brothers got it. I don't want to be too long winded. Yeah, come. We'll bring it out. Come, come. Are you good? Are you good? Are you good? Are you good? This is uh, Hebrews chapter five, verse twelve. Yeah. What did I say? For when, for when the time ye ought to be your teachers, mm-hmm. ye have need that one teach you again. Yeah, you have to be taught again, man. Mm-hmm. Meaning you have to learn how to crawl again. You got to learn your ABCs again. You got to learn your one, two, threes again. Go ahead. Come on. Stop back at the top. For Come when. On. This uh Hebrews 5 and 12, mm-hmm. for when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, mm-hmm. which be the first principles of the oracles of the most high. That's right. Mm-hmm. And, and are become such as as have need of milk mm-hmm. and not of strong meat. That's right. Keep going. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of the righteousness. For he is a babe, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but strong meat belongs to them that are of full age. They get First Corinthians chapter uh, three verse one, man. Because yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, and, and I, that's gonna be this is gonna be last for me. Okay, but uh, but he was speaking on like you have to be taught again, man. And if you have to be taught again. You gotta suck that tit, man. <laughs> you gotta drink that milk, you know, in order. And, and what? Uh, and who drinks milk? Babe. A babe. Uh, so when you get baptized with this thing, meaning you heard this truth, mm-hmm. and we're, we're still going through a baptism. We still clean, cleansing ourselves with this living water. Man. Uh, you know, we're going through our tribulations like it speaks of in Sirach, the second chapter. Uh, so we're still catching that fire, too. You know what I'm saying? Get that 1 Corinthians 3 and 1. Uh, this is 1 Corinthians 3 and 1. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, uh-huh. but at but as unto carnal, that's right. Keep going. Even as unto babes in a mashiach. There you go. Even as to babes in uh, a mashiach, man. Keep read the next verse because it speaks about the milk. I have fed you with milk. That's right. And not with meat. Mm-hmm. For hither or two, ye were not able to bear it. Neither yet now are ye able. Yeah, that's right, man. But he said as babes in your house, I mashiach, man. Huh. You have to re be re taught this thing. You gotta learn again. And, and when you come into this thing, man, and be baptized, man. Spiritually, you know. That's all I got, brother. If y'all want y'all y'all got it, you know. No super complicated breakdowns, man. He was just telling them simple stuff, and they still couldn't get it, man. That's right. That's right. They said in uh in the chapter uh, before that, before that, that man, to them with uh, excellency of speech. Yeah, that excellency of speech, that's right. Mm-hmm. Being all intellectually and, and, and politically correct and stuff, man. Yeah. That's why we be so vol- uh, you know, you know how we be out stirring our steer. Mm-hmm. Up, man. We don't try to speak like we we in a, a pastor in the church with a with a Yeah, that's right. <laughs> And I think too, man, it's uh, government. government shut down, man. That's good, man. Government shut down, man. But this shit is, this is all folly. That's why the scrub yeah. said that folly is great. But the rich said, that's why, uh, that's why this song is all on the news. This is all they talking about. Because this is a bunch of bulls, man. Yeah, that's right. Uh. 
That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We can close out unless y'all brothers got something too. Nah, no, we good. Huh? All right. Well, this is uh Joe. Um, seeing this says they came upon me as a of of in of water. Mm. All right. So man, because he gonna come down on you niggas, all right? Eventually, man. Think about that, hey, man. <laughs> That's the thing. Just wait and see, man. You niggas mm -hmm. going to come in on you niggas like on the waters, man. Okay? Yeah. Desolation mm -hmm. upon me. I'll roll on you niggas, man. That's right. Thanks in his humbies. Hey, that's about to come on on one of these goddamn channels. I believe it's A&E or something like that with the shit that happened in man. Back up. Oh. And the dude, he was the Messiah. And they was fighting against the whole uh, US Army, man. And that's how it's going to be on the soldiers of America because they're going to make what the people uh, into domestic terrorists, man. Mm -hmm. Foremost, you Jakes. That's why the scripture said, uh, team uh, chapter talk about the uh, he's going to be a terror, shall, shall be a terror, man. It says the thing. Job 30 and 15. Yeah, Tip upon me. Right. This government shut down officially. They don't put, come upon you, Jakes, man. Mainly you women, man. Nigga, you women, man. <laughs> <laughs> it says, um, two of the soul as the wind. Right. Is Esau going to be pursuing your soul? The scripture said that Esau, he's drunk off the blood of the saints. He likes spilling blood of the Israelites, man. You niggas ain't no. It says, um, fair passive away as a cloud, man. Yeah, your welfare is going to pass away as a cloud. It's there one minute, then the next minute is gone, man. And that's how your welfare is going to be. UGK, man. One day you heal, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's how your welfare go pass away, man. All right, I I, I got real quick. Revelations chapter twelve and uh twelve. They say um uh, started eleven. Uh, talking about when you says and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. Talking about the elect, man. It's talking about who? It says of their testimony. Whose testimony? The prophets going out the hedges, pushing the word of y'all by show me how was shot. That's right, overcome by the. That's how the elect gonna overcome. Mm -hmm. I was shot by the word of. Your testimony, the prophets, man. And they love not their lives and to fear. I was just sitting here <laughs> thinking, man, I hate why we just doing yeah. this live stream, man. Why y'all brothers just I fucking hate this place, man. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, verse 12. Therefore, yeah. heavens, and ye dwell in them. Both to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Well, that he have but a short time. Now I'm going to this word devil real quick. A Simple minded Israelites, you simple minded Christians, man. For devil is the right. And it's applied to a man. Mm -hmm. 
may be said to of the devil. So with word is acknowledging this talk about man playing the role of that spirit. All right, and that man, man he's taking me all down. All right. He's such a fucking bad. Yeah. So, uh, Come on. Uh, Satan fucking with the uh, reception. Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, you was in and out. Do y'all hear me? It, it's breaking up. Yeah, we can hear you now. Uh, what were you reading? It was, uh, it was breaking up. I can't hear y'all. Uh huh. I like it. See? Yeah. yeah. He didn't want to bring it up. I think it's on his. You know how you hang out with? I'll hang up. You can't just be on. No, you just be on his because he's the host. Gotcha. You found his pain on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just so big. Especially if you have Yo, this is YouTube page called. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Uh, 